Well, hello, everybody. Yeah, let me see if I can make that a little brighter. Yay! It's good to see you. It's like somebody turned the light on. <laughs> oh, my hair is a little messy. That's okay. It has been a good day. I had some training this morning, and I'm just going to look for us in the right place. And once I'm sure that I can see your comments, I am going to, let's see. Da -da -da. Let's go this way. So hello, please say hello if you're here and let me know where you're joining us from. Let's see, I got two of you, yay. Okay, and comments are commenting, I think, but nobody's left a comment yet. So if you just type in your, um, type in a comment. I have something to help you comment. Um, we, late, late last night, we reached pace setter status for the American Cancer Society. We have raised $25,000. I have no words other than, oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Thank you, Vicki. Thanks for saying something so I can see your comments now. And I'm commenting over here too, so that's good. Um, sorry about the little snafu with my phone. It's been a crazy day. So anyway, I finally got it squared away and I think we're good to go, knock on wood or chalk or whatever. Um, so I have quite a bit of design work to do still for the month of November. Uh, we had, um, yep, thank you, Sandy. Yeah, Yahoo, our team is amazing. $25,000, um, this little card-making hobby of ours. When we gather, we are mighty. Um, but anyway, um, I have a couple of classes left to design. One is a stamp -a stack for my November retreat, which is just a couple weeks away. I've been very busy cutting and prepping. And today, um, boxes of stuff showed up. Okay, here, I'll, I'll flip the camera and show you real quick, ready? It's literally falling over. Um, that's some of the stuff that just came in. Craziness, huh? I'm trying to sort it as it comes in and get everything ready. And um, I am all designed for Stamp Club, and I will be announcing that stamp set and letting everybody know who's in Stamp Club. We have 56 people in Stamp Club. It has been a year since we started it. People are loving it. I love putting surprises in the box. Uh, we do eight projects a month, and it's $39.50 shipped to your door or here in my studio. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but I thought maybe today you guys could help me design and we'll do it on the fly. What do you think? So we, we kind of like the on the fly thing. So let's go. Let's have some fun. All right, I'm going to flip the camera and we'll get going. I'm going to put my hand over the camera so I don't make anybody dizzy. And hey, Virginia. Is it is it Virginia or is it Virginie? I like the way that it's spelled. It's different. It's like kind of like my name, uh, Celine. It's spelled S-E-L-E-N-E, -E, and people are used to like Celine Dion, C-E-L-I-N-E. Sorry if that's a little wobbly for a second. It should calm down here in a second. So, um, yeah, this is the stamp set that I want to work with. And coming up in just a week and change, so uh, not even two weeks, I have a retreat in Maine for a bunch of people. And I would love to use this stamp set to make a stamp -a stack for them. I have some ideas, but um, maybe you guys can help me. I haven't decided on embellishments yet, um, but I did pick a designer paper and a stamp set. This is, paper has been out of stock, but it's back in. It is called a walk in the woods. So once I design, I can kind of maybe place an order. I'll put some stuff on that. Sometimes if I get stuff on my paper, I can use a sand eraser and I have one here in my little tool holder. My daughter makes these. Um, she'll be home from college. Sometimes she'll, she'll get a burst of orders when she's home. Christmas is coming. If you know of anybody that wants a tool holder with their name on it, um, she sells them for 45. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna come off. That's okay, it doesn't matter. I, if, I just have to be, so here's the deal with these sand erasers. We don't, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them, but we should. You just have to be patient and go one way and then go the other way because you don't want to break the paper down too much. And it's basically sanding the first layer of paper off that the top of this 
and therefore the um, blue ink that's on here can go too. But I can put that off to the side for a second. So here's a look at the paper that I want to use. Um, I pulled a whole bunch of cardstock and put it on my table so I wouldn't have to get up and down. Um, but I might have to grab ink and embellishments depending on what you guys pick or want. But um, did you guys know that on the back side... Oh, yeah, Alina, just, just send me a private message when we get off, and I can um, have Alexis work on that for you. But um, Balmy Blue, Cherry Cobbler, Garden Green, Old Olive, Pecan Pie, and Pretty Peacock are the colors in this designer paper. So on the back of our designer papers, they give you what colors they are, and I think that's such a great roadmap. Uh, one of the things about Stampin' Up!, as opposed to some, you know, companies that you find out there, like, you know, a big box store, is that if you go into the aisle of the big box store and you find this gorgeous paper, you may have trouble finding the exact match. Oh, did I not pull Balmy? Um, is that Balmy? Oh, I do. I have a couple sheets here. You may have trouble. That I pulled Pool Party. See? <laughs> you may have trouble finding the exact match for your color. If you're in... If you're in a big box store, your match might look like this. I pulled the wrong color. Um, let me grab Balmy, because I think um, that's going to be a key color here. <laughs> but this is um, Pretty Peacock. Here, let's see. It's all fun and games until you pull the wrong color. But what a difference it makes when you have the right color blue. So now I am not stuck matching. So, um, for example, unless you're using like a silver or a gold or whatever, this um, ribbon is set up exactly to match that paper. Um, of course, you can just grab a white or a gold or a silver if you're at the big box store. The other thing about our ribbon is you get 10 yards of it on a roll. So you might get excited if you get to the craft store and you find, you know, a bunch of roll or ribbon for a buck, but on that roll might be one yard and ours typically have 10 yards of ribbon just shutting the heat off so we get a nice clean copy of this um but um let's see does this one say sometimes specialties are five yards but let's see yep so this one's five yards but this one's also really thick um, and I found it good to lay flat, but not necessarily good for bows, but it is delightful for laying flat. So yeah, I think I agree with you, Eilina. I think that that's the whole Stampin' Up! Uh, thing. It's, you're not like left guessing and you can spend more time crafting because you're good to go. Anyway, enough with the infomercial. You guys know I love it and hopefully you love it too. Um, so Let's get to designing. I first looked at this set, and as I was looking through my stash today, I haven't dug into this one either. And as I was looking at it, I thought, wow, I could probably interchange this one with this one. And maybe this one with this one or this one. And these two could interchange. So if you like having one style stamp over another, you can always change out images as you go. In fact, if I do this as a stamp a stack at my retreat in a week and a half, which I'm just designing now, haha, um, wouldn't it be good if they had the chance to make a glory to God in the highest versus Christmas merry and bright? They could choose which ones they want to make based on, so I might actually design and then Use both for a stamp a stack. And let's face it, I mean, there are people that I want to send an Oh Holy Night card to, or, you know, <laughs> as opposed to Merry Christmas, Merry and Bright, because different people like different things, and I want to send the right Christmas card to the right person, right? It's all personal, <laughs> isn't it? Okay, so I have this cool idea, and maybe you can come with me on this little journey, but. Before we do that, I want to take one of these big images and stamp it on one of the balmy blue designer papers. So I'm going to let you guys pick. You tell me. Um, this one says sending. Ugh, 
Sending good tidings in this season of cheer. Do you want to see this on snowflakes or um, dots? You tell me. So um, one or two. So you tell me one or two. And while you guys are voting, I'm going to pull out some other fun stuff. I have this other stuff that I want to play with. Oh, look at there. It's like um, shaker stuff. I love shaker stuff. Snowflakes. Debbie, uh, Darby Dew says snowflakes. Okay, so that we have one, 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 two. All right, so far we have it three to one. One, 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 two. Oh, Darby Dew voted twice, but so two to one. Anybody want to break this, the tie? So one or two. I'll give you one more second and then I'll get to cutting. Actually, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to cut a piece of white. I'm going to cut this white um, to three by four. Okay, so that's, we're really starting from scratch here. Three by four. Uh, making this card layout. Okay. So this is a, a piece that's going to go behind our designer series paper. All right. So um, design number one has one. Hi, Donna. Good to see you. All right. Thanks for voting, everybody. So if this one is three by four, I'm going to cut this down um, a quarter inch. Oh, so Donna's coming to this... Uh, Retreat, so she'll be able to see the stamp a stack as we go real time. We're gonna we're gonna design so three and three quarter by two and three quarter. Now, um, in a stamp a stack, they'll actually get to cut. Oh, they'll, they'll get to make three of each card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a few more pieces down. This, if I were cutting a card class. I do this a lot. If this piece is two and three quarters, this one is five and a half right here because the long line on this paper cutter is five and a half. Oh, and I might as well cut that one while I'm at it, but I don't have to take that piece back out in order to cut it at two and three quarter. I can just cut it down. I do that a lot when I'm prepping to save time because um, who wants to spend the time to pick it back up and put it back in? So the, all of these pieces are three and three quarter by two and three quarter, and they're gonna layer on top of our four by three. And you know what, while I'm at it, why not? I'll cut another two pieces that are four by three. So this one's already four. And for this paper cutter, the fence here, the hard part, and I call all of these little hard sections that I can put the paper up against the fence. The fence is six, whereas that line going up is five and a half. So I'm gonna go six and then cut it in half at three to give myself two pieces without having to pick it up and put it back in. Okay, so that saves me a little time. So I got a couple pieces of these to play with. All right, I'm making a mess already. I'm gonna grab a chair and put this beside me. <laughs> Cause you know how it goes when you get card making. All right, so here we go. Back to the table, and I should grab a stamping mat. I think I got one on the table, but I don't. Shame on me. I'll just use this designer paper um, just to keep it going here. And we wanted sending good thoughts, and I'm kind of seeing this pattern with... Um, pretty peacock which is also in that designer series paper so when I pick a designer series paper and I start out if I if I'm ordering I'll pick one or two colors to go with my designer series paper so that when I go to sit down and make cards I have coordinating colors to match so this one is pretty peacock and it's one of the colors in the DSP they do make it real easy for us huh Okay, so I'm just gonna take this. I have this idea, it's so cool. I wanna take it and stamp it right on the designer series paper. And I'm gonna go a little high um, instead of directly in the middle. So oh, my R and cheer didn't come out that good, but we have the technology to fix that. 
Um, if you're ever stamping with a water-based ink pad and your stamp doesn't come out right, you can go over the bigger letters with Winkostella and make them pretty, first of all, because, yeah, we got to put that stuff on everything. But you can also fix any bold images like this um, if it doesn't stamp right out of the gate. So here we go. Pretty cool, huh? Just filled it right in. Now, if it's still a little bit light, and I have a piece of plastic here, so I can just grab a piece of plastic bag, touch the ink pad to it, pick up some color, and finish that. So I don't have to, um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but now it's better. So check it out. I'll come closer so you can see it. Hey, Mary. Wow, good to see you, my friend. Okay, so that's sending good tidings in this season of cheer. Yeah, I wanna make it easy for people at retreat to stamp a whole bunch of cards going home. I, I guess I should leave that on the table in case I need it. I'll put it off to the side because you know um, I'll probably put my hand in it. And it does look a little crooked, doesn't it? Whoops, it happens. Okay, and my tape runner is MIA. Oh, there it is, behind my computer screen. So here we go. I'm gonna attach this to my three by four piece of paper. And Mary, you might already know where this is going because this is gonna be an, an awful lot like the cards that we did on the cruise with the, um, I, cause I haven't shown that yet um, anywhere, but today's the day. Um, but before I do that, I wanna make a shaker card and I want you to tell me, I've got two different kinds of shaker stuff. This one is iridescent shaker circles. Here, let me open it. So this is, we're gonna call this um, one. And then uh, this one is like more like snow. So we've got snowflakes, I don't know. We, they got this one on the cruise. Do you wanna use one or two? So I'll give you guys a second to uh, vote on that. And while you guys are voting on that, I'm gonna make a card base. So we'll bring in that balmy blue now that we have the right color. And we'll score a card stock in half. Oh, that's not balmy blue. Here, wow. It was like magic trick. I picked up the wrong color. Um, we're gonna score the paper at four and a quarter and our paper trimmer has these lines that go all the way up and down at every quarter inch, so four and a quarter. Now at the stamp -a stack obviously, I will have done all the scoring and cutting for them um, ahead of time, but they'll get like, you know, cool stuff. And then uh, we cut at five and a half and I, again, I love this trimmer because the trimmer has the cut all the way up at five and a half, so it's kind of dummy proof. Not that I'm, I, I mean, measure twice, you know, cut once. Okay, so let's see. We said this was one and this was two, right? So I'm coming back in and right now we are two, two, one, one, two. So you like this one, okay. I haven't used this one yet, so I was kind of partial to that, but if you say so, you guys are in charge. <laughs> All right, so at retreat on the cruise ship, I brought these cool things that I found on Amazon, and I am an Amazon affiliate, so I can make links and get a small commission. I think uh, pennies on the dollar for this, but so I can make you a link if you'd like. Um, but I found these bags that are three by four on Amazon and they set up like this. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, you take this and you have to kind of determine what side is gonna be sealed. So this folds, the bag folds over this way. So I want this in so that um, the seal is in the back. You with me? And then um, I'm just, this is the best thing ever. I'm gonna take a pinch of this stuff, of my shaker stuff, and put it in the bag with my snowflakes. So that's one, that's two pinches per card. And then I can just peel the back, 
seal it. Now I did, I have to say, I got this idea from um, a Stampin' Up! kit. When I was um, out, I had my hysterectomy, I was out on surgery leave. Um, I wasn't able to lift, I wasn't able to emboss, I wasn't able to do anything. And I did this kit from Stampin' Up! that had these bags like this, but I could do this. And I was so excited because, you know, shaker box cards are usually really fussy. And this is just so easy. How do you beat that, right? All right. So let's go back in. Oh my gosh, it was my favorite thing. I was, and Mary, I was like counting down the days until I could actually craft again because I couldn't lift anything. So it was really frustrating. But when I found that kit, man, I was dreaming about these cards. So those bags are three by four. Um, and now I have the white cut to three by four with the designer paper and we stamped right on the designer paper. Isn't that fun? And um, I'll be able to make another mat for this and I'm gonna cut this at four and a quarter by three and a quarter, which means I will get, I love card math, six of this layer out of one sheet of the Pretty Peacock, which is pretty darn awesome, don't you think? Okay, so let's see what we got here. So remember, they're gonna make 12 cards in one sitting. Um, so they've gotta be kind of simple. Let me see. I really want to use a stickier glue for this. Oh gosh. Here we go. I usually always have a roll of this handy, but this is um this is called tear and tape. Okay? And for tear and tape, you just take this and take it the length of your And, and just tear it off. So you lay it down, stick it down at your finger, tear it off. Easy peasy, right? Well, it gets better. I didn't like this adhesive once upon a time because the backing can get fussy to get off. So I use now my take your pick tool and I just slide this under the inside, the middle, and then it literally takes two seconds to lift that strip off the back. Isn't that awesome? Okay. So here we go. And I just want to make sure I get it nice and straight. But this will go right on the front of my card. Oh, and it looks like my tear and tape went over a little bit. I don't want to see any adhesive on my card or make it make the front sticky. So I'm going to take a second and just fix that. Okay. There we go. Come on. <laughs> it doesn't want to come off. That's all right. I got it. Okay. So sending good tidy. Isn't that pretty? And it's real simple. And now I can layer it on. And again, it's set up to match my designer series paper. But let's take a look. I wanna go back to the package and see if there's another pattern. I think I wanna use, there's another pattern in here that looks like Christmas trees. So I thought if maybe, oh, I like that one too. Whew. I think I just changed my mind. Oh my gosh, I think I wanna do a strip of this. I was going to do this at the bottom behind it like that, but you know what? I'll let you guys, this is, this is uh, tell me what to do Tuesday. So do you want to use this paper or this paper? And I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I went backwards. This is, we'll call the stripes number one and the trees number two. Okay. Oh, Connor's here. Hi, Connor. So stripes number one. Trees number two for the background of that card. I'm just gonna wait a second. So we got number two, number two, number one. Robin, what does Connor say? Here I am just playing with my nails. <laughs> I 
I'm just waiting. Usually I have something else to do, but number two, number two, or number one. Oh, you guys really like number two. Okay, so we'll go with the original idea. And I know that this card is four and a quarter inches wide, okay? So I'm going to cut this way at three, the long way. And while I have it out, I might as well cut a couple more strips. So we know that the fence is six, right? So I can cut this in just a couple of cuts down to three inch strips. It's really fast to do when you have it right there. And then um, everybody will get, oh geez, I cut more than one. <laughs> Whoops, that's funny, I cut them both. Nice. Um, that's funny. And then I'm gonna cut it four. So um, this piece that's gonna lay down behind our shaker will be three by four. So here we go. I'm just gonna move that so you can see better. All right, so let's get this going. Oh, that's the back side again. Oh, that's funny. I like both sides. I might have to change it for the stamp -a stack though because um, I'll need to have enough for each person. So I will basically divide up the paper between everybody um, unless they get like a pack as part of the class. We could do that too. Second card with the stripes. Good idea, Mary. I'll do that. We should do that now. I'll do that right now, Mary. I love that. Okay, so, and it, these go real fast once you get going. We have this stuff already cut, so we just have to, um, so I put dimensionals, um, I think that's a sufficient amount. I, I would normally, <laughs> for that size card base, use more, but I don't need to peel them all off. I'm only gonna peel off the corners. It, it's all about the height. It's not about the stick at this point. They're plenty sticky. I just like to have extra, um, extra support. All right, so let's do that. I don't know what I did with the other piece. I'll just cut this one. So Mary suggested that we make a second one. Four by three, right? Hopefully I have the stripes going the right way because I didn't look. That's not the striped one. Huh? Oh my gosh. That's the striped one. I think I need another sip of coffee. What do you think? <laughs> oh, Jackie, it's not the replay. We're here. How's it going, girl? I'm glad you caught us live. Oh, I like that one, too. Jeez, okay. So you know what? I'm going to make three cards just like that. So they can do this during the stamp -a stack as well. If they see something that they like, they can change it up and make what they need. So here we go. I have my card base here. And oh my gosh, I think I like the trees too. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's. They just happen to be going the right way. It's awesome. So we get stripes and just for the sake of time, I have some white card bases. So we can take this one and go this way. What do you think? Changes it up again, doesn't it? But these patterns are so awesome. So when you are cutting your paper three by four and you're cutting it from a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper or whatever, um, you get 12 from a sheet. So that's pretty good too for math, card math. All right, so let's stamp two more of these. That's funny. Um, and I really am, I'm gonna get a mat because remember how the cheer didn't come out right? 
especially if you're like me and you're working on a plastic table, um, these Stampin' Mats are pretty good. They In the catalog, they are known as Stamping Pierce Mats. They are meant for like paper piercing, but we use them to get a nice solid um, image. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. I love that you're here all the way from across the country, but you're you're like from here, you're from Mass. All right, so I'm gonna go, again, I'm gonna go higher because we know that we're gonna put the shaker stuff in there. So there's one. And stamping right on the designer paper is really fun. I have to say. Like, I don't think it would work with every pattern, which is why I made you pick um, between the dots and the snowflakes, but I really like this. Okay, so let's go. We got these all cut. Now you know why I cut extra, huh? So we'll put those on and then we can add shaker stuff. Now, tell me, should we use the same white shaker stuff again or do you wanna see the iridescent ones? Let me know, this is the iridescent shaker circles. We could try one of each, huh? Maybe? Just let me know in the comments what you want me to do there. We're we getting there. While you guys are deciding on that, I'm gonna pull that paper back in and cut it down. Again, we need two pieces that are four and a quarter by three and a quarter to mat. So I'll just do that while you guys are typing your answer. So three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Idle hands, I don't like being waiting, you know? I have to be busy. Anybody else like that? You gotta be busy all the time. Okay, so Peggy says one of each, and the most people are saying iridescent. So we've already seen one, let's just go for it. We'll, uh, so we need to put these in the bag, right? And again, I'll get you the links for these. You get 300 of these in a package for nine bucks. I told Stampin' Up! they need to get them for us because they're just awesome. And I know you probably don't need 300 of them, but I've been going through them so fast. Um, oh, and look, my E didn't come out right. But that's okay. We have the technology. Thank you, Winkostella. Ready? Let's just grab some ink. I mean, you know what it says, but isn't it better when you can see the whole letter? Okay. Just takes a second to fix it, and it's worth it because... It really makes it look nice. Here, let's dot, 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 dot. Perfect. I'm so excited. I get to see Donna and oh, I get to see all of you. My gosh, there's a bunch of you that's coming to retreat. Let's see. Um, who else, who else, who else? Vicky. And there's a whole bunch of new people, which is cool. So they don't know what to expect from a Celine retreat. I'm going to, I'm going to go live over in the retreat group, uh, here in a bit. As long as I have time, I, I have my business builders meeting tonight, my team, um, training for those who seek it out. We meet on two, six Tuesdays, and then we take a break and then we go again. All right. So sending good tidings in this season of cheer. Okay. Here's the iridescent ones. Oh, they, I think there's purple in there. Oh, it's so pretty. All right. Ready? Woo. I'm going to go twice. I love this kind of shaker box because um, I really hate it when it's all over the place. And this is just so cool that it's all contained. Peel it off and you're done. It doesn't like go everywhere. And you get to shake I mean, oh, this one really flies when you shake it. Woof. That's kind of fun. I almost want to do a purple card base now. Oh, can't forget my mat. Okay, so um, let's sticky strip that because it's plastic. I 
I can't wait either. I'm so looking forward to seeing you and so many. Oh, I got them on Amazon, Peggy. When I get off uh, my live, like I said, I'm an Amazon affiliate for some things. Um, Cause I, someone mentioned to me that because I'm always referring people to Amazon that I could become an affiliate. Meaning if there's something that I like or use that I can share a link and um, I can get like a couple cents commission off it. And it's not even, it's not even, it's tiny. So um, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these, and I figure, why not? So I am an affiliate. I do get a small kickback if you use my link, but I, I will get you those links after. They're cool. But it's like, it's a lot of bags, so you could share with a friend. There are 300 bags for 9 bucks, and I, I don't know. I might get a penny or two on the sale. I, I don't know how the whole... Um, I don't know how it all works, only that someone told me that I should, and now they, like, yeah... It's not going to be my, my second job. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. So cool. Ah, shaker, shaker. All right. So, I'm going to put this one. Ooh. I think I'm going to put this one in the Christmas trees because I kind of want... Let's see if you can see where I'm going with this. To do, like... Did you see that? Uh, you probably can't see it. It's so tiny. But I want to maybe drop. Oh my God. It's so cute. Hang on. I can't even stand it. So barely touch with this stuff because you don't want to get like so much glue that you hate it. You could even take this and put it on a paintbrush. Oh, that's going to be behind my panel. Oh, that's, that's a lot. That's okay. Hang on. Let me see if I can get these on there. Now I'm playing ring toss because these are like little rings. Oh my gosh, though. I can't even. That's huge. I got to take that off. Hang on. There's too much glue. So here, let me bring it close so you can see. There's like a big blob of glue right there. I gotta, I gotta get it flat so that it'll actually set up and not be sticky. There's so there's a balance, you know. So that part was fussy, but the shaker part, man, not at all. But it's so cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that little bit of glue that's on my take your pick, and disperse it, and then um. I have a paper towel under my coffee cup, so I just hit it with that. And now I'm gonna see if I can, um, whoop, my, something on my nail is sticky. There we go. I'm just gonna like put a couple of these and see if I can get them to stick. So I'm just using uh, the Stampin' Up liquid glue and I used a tiny amount. So like I would say the best way to do it would be to take a, a plastic bag and put a tiny little bit on the plastic bag and then maybe use a paintbrush instead of getting sticky. All right, so you, can you guys see the sparkles? <laughs> Exciting. All right, here we go. Oh, and look, that glue's coming out, so let's just use that one. So if I were to use this um, to stick my card on, you see how little you have to use in order to get it to stick? It's when it's paper on paper, it goes real, real easy. But I like the little extra bits, although um, I think I want another one like here because these look like Mickey ears a little bit. Let's see. There we go, tiny, tiny amount. You don't see me stand that up very often, but there must be a temperature difference in here because that's what happens. Um, the glue just gets happy. If it, if you're like outside and you come into a warm house or if you're warm and you go outside and you try and use your glue, it's gonna do that. Like it'll, it'll peel out at you. All right, what do you think? So Donna, should I go to, for a retreat when I do my stampa stack, should I use this one, the white ones, or should I use the ones with the color? It's such a difficult decision. Here, we got one more here on the table. Let's go again. 
Uh, and we, this one's the stripes one. Thank you, Mary. So cool. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for all of you. Who in their right mind could think that a bunch of people who like to make cards could raise $25,000 for cancer? I mean, honestly. I'm so beyond excited and it's all very surreal. Like, how does that even happen? Okay, here we go. And now, I will say that that one flies better. Like, you tell me. All right. I just want to take a quick look. Okay. My phone said, just said. Actually, my phone just told me to hurry up pretty much. <laughs> I know, I'm going too slow. Here we go. So I've got, oh, I did use the Seal Plus for that. And it seems to be holding okay. I When we were on the cruise, I was nervous that it wouldn't, um, that the Plus wouldn't stick, but I guess it does. Um, all right. So which one do you guys like the best? Do you like the, the um, we'll call them the blue trees, the green trees, or the stripes? And um, seriously, do you like the iridescent or the white? You got to tell me. All right. I am a cancer survivor. Well, God bless you, Peggy. May you continue to be cancer free, my dear. Um, there's a lot of one in eight people will be diagnosed with breast cancer sometime in their lifetime. Can you even wrap your head around that figure? One in eight. So it's definitely something that's worth trying to eradicate. All right. How about if we move on and make some more cards? You want to make one more? Okay. Oh, I mean, right? These make the shaker cards so easy. A hundred percent. I agree. All right. Let's try something different. Um, how about if we pull in this one and we go, all I have on the table for white is thick white, but it's all right. I'm going for it. I love thick white. I use it for card bases a lot because when you're making a card, if you use the 40 sheet paper it's not really set up for that but the 40 the, the ones that come 40 in a pack come a little smoother I think but I do love me some thick white and it's worth it for making bases um, not all cardstock is created equal it is definitely um so I'm gonna cheat a little bit here I have some cards I made with this using a different paper Okay, and these embellishments are out right now, so um, bear with me for a second, but I wanna know what size to cut my paper. So I'm just gonna reverse engineer this. This is two and three quarter by one and a half. So I'm gonna cut us some. Let's go two and three quarter. And in the um, reverse land, because I know it's one and a half, I do this a lot. I go six, four and a half, three, one and a half, so that I don't have to cut and pick up and cut and pick up, right? I do that a lot. Okay, and then the designer paper on this card happens to be um, three and a quarter, by two and a quarter. So now we get to pick another pattern. I wanna case myself a little bit here. So how about, <sighs> sorry, it's all heavy and stuff. Okay, here, let's pick another pattern. How about um, if we pick something darker, like a green? So um, there's that, there's that. I really like this one. Um, oh, and I like this one too. So this one, um, there's, how about if we pick 
Let's go with this one. We'll go side A or side B. You tell me what side you want. So the side B is just the um, pine branches and the side A has the pine branches with the berries, okay? And we measured this paper. It doesn't matter what size we side we use. So I'm just gonna go for it and cut the paper at um, three and a quarter by two and a quarter, right? So three and a quarter, oops. Four and a half, you can be like, what? But two and a quarter, so I can get a couple out of it. I think I might have gone crooked there for a minute. Might not have been against the fence. So, um, Four and a half, two and a quarter, but I do this a lot. And I'll, my other trimmer was an old Stampin' Up! one, a guillotine one that cuts three at a time. So I can prep a class like this if, if they're making three of each and have them cut three at a time, you know. A, 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 A. So you guys like this side better. Am I right? Because I already forgot. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it the side? It's the side with the pine, right? Oh my gosh. It's a thing. Alright, so there's this. Okay. And I really dig that. So if we're gonna use no, okay, it's this side. Yeah? Okay, sorry. <laughs> wow. There's the proof. I am a living dory. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, I got you. So, we're gonna use the side with the berries. I understand. Oh my God, that was funny. Two and a quarter by three and a quarter. In case you're wondering, I already forgot that too. So, we're gonna go three and a half. And I'm gonna go three and a half this way so I can get more out of the paper. So, three and a half. By two and a half is just up a quarter inch and to do that I need to go to five and five is easier down here on this trimmer sorry five two and a half just cutting my pieces don't get, don't get nervous I won't, yes berries berries I got you holy smokes time for another sip of coffee you see how fast I forget stuff that's crazy. I think I need ginkgo biloba or something. The good news is if I get mad at you, I probably won't remember tomorrow. Five. So two and a half. Cool. All right. Phew. And then, for good measure... measure. So this was three and a half by two and a half. So I'm going to do um, a four by three. And again, going this way when you're doing four is better. Four by three and on um, six first, right? Six. Because then we get a few. And um, what's nice about the six is it's right against the fence, so that makes it easy to line up. And I have one left, one piece left here, so I might as well make that four by three. All right, so far we have four by three. Three and a half by two and a half. Now I have another question for you. Garden green or pretty peacock? Pretty peacock is the background color and garden green is the color in the foreground. So this is um, three and a quarter by two and a quarter. I 
It's so pretty. Green. Okay. Mary called it. First one up. So green. I did pull all the colors before I sat down so we could go, we could have some fun. So four and a quarter by three and a quarter is the top layer. So again, I can get six of these out of one piece of paper. Who likes the idea of doing a stamp a stack? Do you like the idea of being able to make 12 cards at once? If I offered it as an online class, would you want that in, the, in a kit form? It would be one stamp set, you know, so you get quite a bit out of it. So the green. Oh, it's pretty, yes. I like it. So here we go. That makes the branches pop. Nice eye, guys. Oh, what do you know? Adhesive. Adhesive's gone. All right. Switch into liquid glue. Okay. So now we need um, a stamped. So um, I'm thinking that maybe we should go with the green because we, well, we haven't used the pretty peacock at all, so maybe we stick to the pretty peacock because that means like scrapbooking terms, right? We used cherry cobbler twice. We used the green twice. We'll use the white twice, and now if we stamp this in pretty peacock, it will be, um, so I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was this one. So let's use the pretty peacock so that we use two. Good night, Connor. Have fun. Robin, hopefully I'll see you Sunday at the team meeting. We have a team meeting every single month and a uh, card swap. And we have uh, mystery stamping with Cheryl Davis. Um, we have a lot of fun with the team. If you're interested in becoming part of a team where you get a discount on all your supplies, let me know. Oh, look at that. Wow. I really love the way it's shaped up. Okay, so I'm going to stick this on dimensionals because it needs to pop up. But old scrapbooker, right? I have to use the colors twice. So here we go. What time is it? Oh, it's almost, we've been on for like almost an hour. I so appreciate you guys. Okay, so here we go. These are great cards. I'm just curious. Ooh, if I do this, it needs a bow. I think I'm gonna stick to this. But now it's really evident that I should stick to the white one and not this one because this one doesn't really match anymore. So if I wanted to add an embellishment to this one, I could. And is it me or is that not in the middle? Good thing I only did the four corners. Here, smack in the middle. Much better. Ta-da. All right, hang on. Let me put a cover on that so I don't get ahead of myself here. Just so we can see what it might look like, let's go this way. Still needs something. All right. So let's um. Let's go this way. Um, we're gonna score first, right? So we're gonna score it in half at five and a half. I'm gonna go the other way because of the way the orientation of this card. So scored at five and a half, which is that line, yay. And then um, four and a quarter. Some of you actually are already subscribed to a monthly stamp a stack with me. I have a card club where we make eight cards a month. So a stamp a stack for me is just four extra cards. It's the same amount of design work. Um, I didn't really get a good score on that, so I'm gonna hit it with my bone folder. Now I'm thinking 
that I would like to bring in just a little bit more. Let me see. I think this was a nice coordinating color. So, because it matches the one you guys picked, right? It's got all the same colors in there. And it, it's got the, the peacock in the background again. So this one is gonna have to be, let's go four and a quarter. Because it's gonna be the height of the card, and then one and a quarter, uh, one and a half. But I'm gonna do a little fancy cutting here again. I'm gonna cut this in half at six, and because I know I'm gonna be cutting a lot of these, now I can take both pieces and cut at four and a quarter. I mean four and a half, three. Gotta get them both together. And one and a half. Geez, they, they're funny, they're berries, but they almost look like s'mores on that paper. Okay, and then my, this one is already four and a quarter, so I just need this to be one and three quarter. That's good for now. All right, so let's put this together. We've got um, this on top of this, and I gotta bring my I gotta bring the liquid glue back because I ran out of the seal. I could go chase the refill, but I don't want to make you wait. So we'll stick that on there. And then because this is four and a quarter inches tall, it should go top to bottom on our card here, like that. Well, you helped me, uh, you guys helped me design two of my four cards for that Stampa stack, so I'm pretty grateful for you. I'm gonna, I, I usually only go an hour, so I could keep going, but it'd be the longest live video ever from Celine, right? Here we go. Oh, what do you think? Wow. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Eye candy. All right, so I'm gonna put that in the middle. All of those layers and the colors, oh my gosh. So pretty. Um, and then let's bring this back in. So if I give them this is the, the one of the embellishments that they get as part of the, um, they could put like one here and one maybe here and then maybe one up here. Let me grab my pick tool. I like using the pick tool for this stuff because um, then when you pick it up, it's easy to grab there. These are so pretty. But if you were wondering how to use your shaker stuff, there you go, because there's so many possibilities. Now when this dries, it'll just dry shiny and pretty, but you get the idea. And you know, not for nothing, I really need this Christmas to do the Wink Estella thing. It's not too hard. And because this font is so thick, it's very easy to do with your brush. You just grab it and go. Love it. Now it's all sparkly. Well, thank you everybody for stopping by today and spending some time with me on a Tuesday. Let's see here. I'm going to flip the camera. Um, thank you for supporting that fundraiser where we raised 25000 That's all on you. Thank you. Um, it takes an army and um, so grateful and humbled and amazed by all of it. Um, there's no other words. And then uh, thanks for joining me to, to help me with my Stampa stack. I think these are pretty darn cool. Although I think I'm with uh, Mary who liked the stripes better. I'm gonna probably go with the stripes one and then this one. So um, anyway, thank you very much. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, 
Mark your calendars for the night before Thanksgiving. I will be doing a free online workshop with my daughter who will be home. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna join forces that night and she's gonna moderate for me, which is really cool. And um, let's see, I have other stuff coming. I've got club announcement coming out and that one you have to sign up by the 10th. Um, and really cute cards you wanna see. I'll give you a sneak peek, hang on. Huh? Talk amongst yourselves. Um, I'll tell you what, it's a good thing I don't have a big house, but I've already started um, embossing for this. It takes forever um, to get through because for every person, like it's 112 embossed layers, you know, uh, but we're going to use this guy and Merry Christmas and this one and this one and the sign up for this will be in your email if you're on my list. Um, I'm going to be doing 10 days of holiday inspiration on my email list. So if you're not a part of my email list, let me know. I will put the link. Actually, I'll put the link right in this video. So, um, yeah, I got a few links to go get you, but anyway, have a great night. We'll see you guys soon.